Welcome back to Creme 2 News. And as we head into tonight, we are almost halfway through May. So really the question, Michelle, is when is it going to get warm? Is it May or is it March? Kind of hard to tell by how <laughs> the weather has been. Uh, we may just have to wait till July before things warm up. Uh, we may get a little bit of brief, uh, milder weather this weekend, but it's not going to last. Here's a look at today's highs. There are some there were some 60s in places that normally would be in the 70s this time of year and across eastern Washington and North Idaho. Temperatures only in the 50s. In fact, Sandpoint barely made it to 50 degrees. But I did mention we do have some milder temperatures in the forecast for this weekend. For one day, Sunday, looks like we will get a chance to see temperatures climb into the upper 60s. We have yet to officially hit 70 at the Spokane Airport. That warm up will be brief. Looks like temperatures start heading downward again for the upcoming week, and we'll be back kind of where we've been for this past week with highs in the 50s. And it does look like pretty much the entire month of May is certainly going to be coming in below average. In fact, this is the six to 10 day outlook. So this pattern is going to continue likely at least through uh, the next to the last week of May and possibly for the rest of the month. Above average precipitation expected though. So on the bright side, the silver lining snowpack across the entire Northwest is well over 100% of normal. So snowpack doing great. Uh, not so much for the milder temperatures. 45 right now, cloudy skies, winds out of the south southeast at six miles per hour. You'll probably wake, be waking up to some wet weather on Saturday, and then we should see some sun breaks by late in the afternoon, early evening. Could also see a stray shower move through during the evening hours. Highs only in the 50s. Uh, Sunday going to be kind of the opposite. We'll start off dry, and we have a chance of some thunderstorms coming in late afternoon and early evening. But because the storms don't come until later in the day, we should see temperatures warm up into the upper 60s. As I mentioned earlier, temps cooling off again next week. So we have two areas of low pressure moving in one just off the coast right now. The rain's already pushing into central Washington with that. And then Sunday storm system uh, coming in again late in the day on Sunday, which will allow those temperatures to be a little bit warmer, but also give us a better chance to see some thunderstorms rather than just plain old showers. Future tracker showing that wet weather moving in. This is six o'clock in the morning. It looks like the wet weather sticks around through much of the morning, and then we kind of dry out for the afternoon. But for evening, you can see a few stray showers moving through. We may even see some thunderstorms Saturday evening, but uh, lesser coverage. Sunday, we start off dry, but by around the dinner hour, we could see potentially some stronger storms, especially across far southeastern Washington. All right, highs tomorrow, 61 OMAC, 66 in Moses Lake, but then we're only going to be topping out in the 50s across the rest of the area. 53 Coeur d'Alene, 56 in Spokane, 64 for Lewiston, and then 50s for everybody else with some scattered showers. Here's a look at that extended forecast. Uh, the weekend, not a complete washout. Again, we'll get kind of half of a dry day each day, but as you can see, the warm weather does not last long. Cooling off next week with highs again in the 50s. We'll be back after the break.